afternoon, lava flowing from the volcano that erupted last weekend on the Spanish island of La Palma. It has now destroyed around 200 homes. And there are fears now that when the lava hits the sea, it could create toxic gases and explosions. Our correspondent Dan Johnson reports now from La Palma. It's possible the wind directions changed today because we're starting to see more ash falling in other places. This is La Laguna, a village that's just outside the restricted zone. These are the roadblocks where police are keeping people back from the villages that have been evacuated. Occasionally, a few residents are allowed through to get the last of their belongings. Uh, but in the main, there are more roadblocks and more roads that are disrupted because of where the lava is flowing. Some roads have been completely smothered, others the police have closed uh, to keep people back. And you can see how much ash has fallen here. And it's coming down the whole time. Sometimes really fine volcanic dust, sometimes thicker particles. If I hold out my hand, you might be able to actually see it falling from the sky and landing. And that is happening continuously. That's why we've got the masks and we've also got eye protection as well. One other problem has been traffic jams because of the amount of roads that are closed. The traffic is building up, people trying to get through, and there's a risk that this side of the island actually gets cut off by the lava flow. That will probably happen at some point. So we're starting to see how everyday life is being disrupted here. And this eruption is causing problems not just for the people whose homes are directly at risk. And the big question is how long will this last and what will the future impact be? We've seen banana plantations, which are the main source of industry here. We've seen banana leaves covered in ash. Will they be productive in future? That's one question. But for now, the emphasis is still on the volcano that continues to erupt. And the sky is looking a bit darker today with that ash cloud continuing to spread particles right across the eastern and the southern tip of La Palma. Well, let's take you to La Palma now live. We can speak to Jonas Perez, who's a tour guide. He's there and was evacuated from his house. Uh, Jonas, uh, welcome to BBC News. We're grateful for you spending some time with us this afternoon. First of Thank all, just you. talk to me a little bit about where you are, what you can see and how you're immediately affected. Um, I'm right now in Tazacorte, uh, one of the places that is uh, at the moment perfectly safe and one of the homes of uh, many of those people that they have been evacuated. Uh, so in fact, I have my family over here and my whole family, in-law family, they moved down here as well with uh, my side of the family, just basically because so we cannot uh, stay in our homes at the moment while the volcano, while the volcano is on. Um, and talk to me about where you are and, uh, and where your house is, because uh, as you were saying, there were warnings, weren't there, but you've been forced to move. What do you know about your house right now? Yeah, well, our house is in uh, a place called uh, Puerto Naos. It's uh, perfectly safe at the moment. Um, it was supposed to be uh, uh, the hottest spot, uh, and that is uh, talking about on the weekend before the actual eruption started. Uh, but the eruption started a bit more into the north and it took loads of people by surprise. At least we knew that something was going to happen and we kind of, we already started packing slowly, slowly. Yeah, but where the volcano took off, it was in a place that nobody knew. Nobody even guessed that it was going to be there. And loads of people, they had to just run out of their homes because uh, it was just basically above their, above their heads, basically a couple of kilometers away. And, 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 and is it a dangerous area? Because there, is, there, is, uh, there are a lot of houses there where there used to be. Um, and now it's, now it's on the way down to the coast and it's gonna block one of the most important uh, banana production areas of this side of the island. So it could be quite dramatic. Yeah, and as we were saying in the introduction, uh, Jonas, the, the, there is a fear that when that reaches the water, it could create toxic gas as well when it comes into contact with the water, which is just a further complication on what is an already very difficult situation. 